This video is brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. Be sure to subscribe and help get this video to 2,000 likes. And I see. DW is making pancakes when. Oh my god, this animation sucks. DW is making janky ass pancakes while her dad doesn't do a damn thing to stop her from destroying the kitchen. Arthur says it's better to wait to do some things when you're older, like cooking or your mom. We're then treated to a montage of kids doing grown-up jobs, including a shot of the Tibble train wrecks as brain surgeons, which is way more horrifying than any Saw movie ever made. There is only one key to open the device. It's in the stomach of your dead soulmate. Everybody in town is obsessed with Doctor Who's It, a brand new show about wacky British sci-fi bullshit. Though if it has anything to do with the beloved series about a time traveler and his phone booth, it's weird that everyone's getting into it now and not 60 years ago when it first came out. DW is struck with a fatal case of FOMO as Arthur and his parents tell her she's too young to watch the show. DW and Bud try asking the Tibble Tremors what the show is about, only to get scammed out of her pizza muffin. Though honestly, I care much less about Doctor Who's It and way more about Doctor Who the fuck puts whole black olives on a savory muffin. That night, DW sneaks downstairs to find her parents watching the show. Her parents tell her to go back to bed as the show is way too scary for her. Look, I don't know about this Doctor Who's It, but I've been watching Doctor Who for over 15 years and aside from a few key moments, it's not that damn scary. The next morning... DW tries to DVR the show, only to find a parental lock on the TV. DW tries to trick her mom into giving her the password with a game of Hangman, which feels like the type of scam you'd find on your grandpa's Facebook feed. DW uses her Mary Moo Cow periscope to spy on her dad and learns the password is in a little black book. DW ropes in Bud to distract her dad while she steals the book, giving her full access to the Reed parents' private passcodes and banking info. DW finds the password for the TV is literally her last name. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! The two sneak off to watch the show, which proves to only be scary for the first 15 minutes. Wait, you're telling me they travel through time and space in a mailbox? How the hell do they get inside that thing? The two are bored out of their minds when they get caught by her parents. DW gets grounded and Bud gets the fuck out of Dodge. The Reed parents tell her there are some shows that just aren't appropriate for kids, and she should trust them to know which shows are alright for her to watch. Though if PBS really wanted to drive this message home, I'm not sure why they went with a show as softcore as Doctor Who. Even Sesame Street did a Game of Thrones parody. Am I out? Yes, I am sorry. It looks like you choked, Joffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur gets the rare chance to rub salt in his sister's wounds when his parents tell him they also don't want him watching the show, which is a big fat bowl of crap. And I say that as someone who wasn't allowed to watch Ned's Declassified for a bit because of this episode. If you put your head in a book instead of your butt, you'd learn something! Hey, that's funny! <laughs> Not as funny as what I did to Ahab's leg in my book! <laughs> Let's review. DW became obsessed with a show she was too young to watch. Instead of torrenting the show like any other modern child, she tried to scam her parents out of the code for the TV's parental lock. She stole a private book filled with the Reed parents' most sensitive account info, only to find out she could have easily guessed the code on her own. And even after she finally got to watch the show, she got bored halfway through and was somehow surprised when she got grounded for lying and disobeying her parents. Though none of that is nearly infuriating as the Reed parents' decision to ban their 8-year-old from watching a show he's already seen. Which seems especially irrelevant since kids now have unfiltered and uncensored access to everything on the internet all the time. Including this video. Fuckity ass shit cunt. Welcome back everybody. And F-U-D-W. And I see. Hey, I have a Patreon. Sign up at patreon.com slash mattneff to get your name in the thank you credits, along with early access to every FUDW and the chance to vote for future episodes. If there's a movie or show you'd like me to talk about, top tier patrons can commission a review for my channel. Check out the link in the description to become an FUDW superfan. Also, I'm now on Cameo, so make sure to check out my profile to get a personalized FU video. Next time on FUDW... <gasps> Get along with each other